the true disciple of Jesus, a symbol of faith and fraternity, an unforgettable person in Indian church history, is none other than Saint Devasahayam. He became the first Indian layman to be declared a saint by the Vatican on 15th May 2022. Pope Francis canonized Blessed Deva Sahayam during the canonization mass in St. Peter's Basilica, which was attended by over 50,000 faithful from all over the world. Deva Sahayam was born on April 23, 1712 in Nattalam village in Kanyakumari district. His parents are Vasudeva Nambudiri and Devaki Amma. He was very well trained in different art forms and he had the knowledge of literature and languages. He began his career in the royal palace of King Martand Varma as a treasurer and became in close contact with several Dutch officials at the palace. After meeting a Dutch naval commander, De Lenoy, Devasahayam was baptized in 1745 and assumed the name Lazarus, meaning God is my help. His conversion, however, was considered an act of tearson and a danger to the stability of the kingdom. But Devasahayam received the sacraments regularly and ate with people of lower caste than himself and of very humble status. While preaching, he particularly insisted on the equality of all people, despite caste differences. This aroused the hatred of the higher classes, and he was arrested in 1749. He was treated like a criminal. He was intentionally marched through populated areas, sitting backward on the top of a buffalo. As a method of torture, he was beaten every day with 80 stripes pepper rubbed in his wounds and nostrils, exposed to the sun and given only stagnant water to drink. According to religious lore, Devasahayam was dragged from one village to another in the last seven months before his death. While halting at Puliur Kuruchi, not far away from the Padmanabapuram palace of the Travancore king, it is believed by Christians that God quenched his thirst by letting water gush through a small hole on a rock, on the very place where he knelt to pray. The water hole is still found in the compound of a church at Pulyur Kurichi, about 15 kilometers from Nagakoil. He was also tied up on a neem tree in the village of Piruvalai, while being marched to Aralvai Moli. It is believed that he cured illness of sick people in the village and around. After enduring increasing hardship, he received the crown of martyrdom when he was shot on 14th January 1752. His body was then carelessly thrown out near the foothills at Katadimalai. It is said that local Christians collected his remains after five days of his death and buried it in the present-day cathedral of St. Francis in Kota Nagarkoil. From that day on, Devasahayam has been considered a martyr. St. Devasahayam stood for equality and fought against casteism and communalism. His sainthood comes at a time when India is facing surge in casteism and communalism. His life is a great impetus for all who work for fraternity. <laughs>